is pulling like crazy. First fishing trip of the year, and it's to go shark fishing, and I'm gonna see if this heavy 92 pound Magicycle deer will be as nimble over the sand as my other e-bikes. Stay tuned. First thing you need to realize about hauling this heavy Magicycle deer is that I couldn't use my normal hitch because its weight limit was only 70 pounds per bike. So I used the technique, and I'll have the video at the end of this video linked up to show how I loaded it on the back of my truck. And I'm 71, and I was able to do this just fine, and I just drove 50 miles to get here, and I didn't lose it. It's still on the back of the truck. Well, let's get loaded up, rigged up, and get out on the beach and see if we can catch a shark today. Well, the first problem, I feel like an idiot. I grabbed what I thought was my surf rod, but I grabbed the wrong set of extensions. Looks like I'm not doing any shark fishing today, but I'm still gonna go down there. I've got my other rod, and we're, we're gonna fish for whatever else is out there. Maybe some bluefish, uh, some croakers, or whatever. But this thing gets to stay in my truck. I think I'm ready to go. Got my windbreaker in case the wind comes up. And we'll see how this beast of a Magicycle performs today. Like I said, it's 92 pounds, but it's got the fat tires and 96 newton meters of torque, so I think it'll just do fine. What I'll try and do is find some good, deep, wet sand to really test this out to see if it can push through that challenging terrain. Here's the entrance to the beach. And this is where you want to use the walk assist to be able to push your heavy bike out through the sand. I'm going to go ahead and test this by running it down the hard pack first, and then I'm going to go up and down in the soft sand to see if the weight of the Magicycle Deer impacts the drivability of it on this unstable surface. Down in the hard pack, no problem at all. Let's start cutting up into the mush. I like adding a little bit of throttle. And no problem at all. Heading down. Back up. Only on throttle. Sweet. Pretty good. No matter what your age, I really prefer the step through bikes because your tires are a lot bigger than the 26 inch tires that you're familiar with. With that four inch tire, the whole bike goes up and you'll find that it's a lot easier to step through to get on the bike than to step over. Especially if you're carrying a lot of fishing gear like I am. Now here's another pro tip if you're riding on the beach. Be sure you bring something to support the kickstand or your heavy bike is gonna fall over. One more thing before I get set up here and start fishing is, yep, yeah, I look like a dork wearing this helmet, but I value my head and this sand is as hard packed as concrete. So I really recommend you get an e-bike capable helmet and I'll link up the link to this Neato helmet down in the description especially when you're on a bike as powerful and capable as this Magicycle Deer. If you value your brains, like I do, because I don't have much time left, I'm 71, get a helmet. Since I screwed up and forgot my shark rod, I've got this beautiful T-Zac Supreme Rod. This is probably the best rod that I've ever laid hands on. And I'm gonna put it to use today for the very first time I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a casting jig 
because there's a deep section right over here to the left and there's probably going to be fish in there. Now what makes this rod so fantastic is it's just beautiful. And the way it's constructed with high quality graphite with special rosins to strengthen it as well as top of the line Fuji rod guides should make this thing a dream to cast. Now it is extra sensitive because of the high quality graphite and when I switch to bottom fishing out here where it's going to be important to just feel the slightest nibble that is going to come into play big time. But we'll start with casting jigs and see how that goes. Beautiful rod. Look at this thing. Boy, I tell you, there's the cork is just seamless. There are no cracks in this cork. You can really tell a quality rod. The lockup is great. I can't wait to use this thing. I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here and not have a wire leader on because I think I'm going to want to switch to a bottom rig at some point and uh, that'll have a leader by itself. So I got my casting jig, put a little pro gear on there and hopefully no one cuts my line when they bite it. If they do, well, then I'll switch to a wire leader. Let's see if I can catch a fish. Well, we may as well go home. Dolphins came by. They're going to scare everything away. But it's a nice day, so we're going to give it a little more time. Maybe another hour or so. Tide's coming in. Things should be moving. Well, the dolphins showed up. I can't believe how close to the shore they are. Maybe 20 yards offshore. The downside is that when dolphins are around, you won't catch any fish because they're smart enough to get out of the way and not get eaten. See, when you said you were going to leave, the luck entered my body. <laughs> okay, is this first shark of the year? We don't know. Or first stingray of the year? It's, it's large. We could be here for another 45 minutes, we'll see. Shark. It's pulling like crazy. Break off! Are you kidding me? Oh. oh! But, but we know they're back now. They're back. They're here. Something's here. Time to go. At least we confirm that the sharks are back, even though we didn't catch one. And in terms of this bike, I think it's going to be an awesome beach bike. The extra torque, it was critical in getting through some of the soft sand in a few of the places I went to. The only downside, of course, to this is the 92 pounds and the fact that you're going to have to get a very capable hitch if you pull it on the back. Thankfully, I can nut it on the back of my pickup truck, get it up and off, no problem at all. So this might be my new beach bike. Comments, throw it down below.